taking the instrument apart, again, basically reverse of what we talked about, undo the screw, reaching around, pull off the neck, pull the mouthpiece off the neck. Now, two things that are very important that you should be doing after each rehearsal, after each practice, after each play. We want to make sure that we get that water and moisture out of the bore of the instrument. All that moisture that's accumulated after you've been playing. That's where our swab comes in, our good quality swab. And I like to use the drop swabs. There's different types. You've got the silk ones. This is, happens to be a, a nice cotton one that we have, that we put together in our kits. The way this works, make sure that the string is not tangled up, make sure this cloth is not tangled up. This is a weighted string, so we're going to drop the weight in the bore of the instrument. Then basically we're going to feed that string through the end of the saxophone, you have to give a little wiggle. And then basically just pull it straight through. And you may have to do this a couple times in order to get all that moisture out of there. But I can't stress enough how important it is to keep that moisture away from those pads. Once you think you have the instrument good and clean, or swabbed out, then it's time to wipe down the instrument, to get all the fingerprints off. A couple things. I mean, take our fingerprints off, it keeps the instruments looking new for a longer period of time. But more importantly, we all have a certain amount of acidity in our system. If we don't remove those fingerprints off the body of the instrument, over time, that acidity that's in our hands will actually attack the protective finish on the instruments, the lacquer, and sometimes it might be silver plating, and it eventually will make its way down to the brass, and over time, the acidity on some of our hands are so strong, we can actually wear holes in the body of the instrument. So, important now that you're at a young age, get in the habit, takes a few minutes, just to wipe those fingerprints off. So just go through, wipe everything clean. When you're cleaning the top of the keys, hold the keys in a closed position. Less chances that you're going to damage anything. <clears throat> Try not to get too close to the pads. You can eventually tear the pads by doing so. Do the same thing with the neck. We're not done yet. We have the mouthpiece. The reed is still on the mouthpiece, so we have to put that away. This is where a reed guard comes in. Take that reed. Gently place it, slide it along the flat portion of the reed guard, careful with the tip, not to catch the tip. So the reed guard not only stores your reeds, but keeps your reeds flat. With the cane, it has a tendency to warp on you over time. Okay, so now you're ready to go. Put the ligature back on the, on the mouthpiece. Put the cap on the mouthpiece, and we're set. One more tip I just want to quickly go over with you, and that is cleaning of the mouthpiece. This is one part of the saxophone that can be washed, and should be washed about once a week. So what we do, basically you can use liquid hand soap, lukewarm water, no warmer than lukewarm though. Some of these mouthpieces can be made of hard rubber, and if your water is too hot, it'll discolor, and you can permanently damage the mouthpiece. So just a couple pointers here. We include a mouthpiece brush in our care kits. It's a great way of getting in there and, and getting in the, the, the bore of the mouthpiece to get all that uh, scale and buildup and food particles that develop. But you have to be very careful with these things. There's a metal portion to the brush and you have to avoid touching what we refer to as the rails, the side rails, and the tip rails. That's where all the magic happens on these mouthpieces. If you damage that, then 
the mouthpiece is damaged, sometimes permanently. So basically, it's just gently, you're going to go in part way, give it a little, little scrub, go on the back side, same thing. And you can do this while underwater, if you have a little bath or when your, your tap is running. Again, no warmer than lukewarm, liquid hand soap, give it a good rinse, pat it dry with a good cloth, and you're ready to put it away. I think we've covered the basics on your proper assembly and your care and maintenance of your saxophone. By all means, if you have any questions, give us a call at Missoula Music.